a pediatric neuro-oncology fellowship at Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital provides a trainee with access to expert clinical faculty in the field, an innovative academic structure, and the resources of Johns Hopkins Medicine, including the only accredited pediatric biorepository in Florida. We draw patients from around the globe and feature a learner-centric environment that encourages excellence in both clinical skill and scholarship. As a trainee at All Children's Hospital, you have the opportunity to have the resources that Johns Hopkins Medicine in Baltimore have, including, and most importantly for my field of pediatric neuro-oncology, research resources and clinical trials that can also be available to my patients here in Florida. Founded in 1926, Johns Hopkins All Children's is a 259-bed teaching hospital in St. Petersburg, Florida. In 2011, we became the first hospital outside the Baltimore-Washington region to join the Johns Hopkins Health System. In 2018, we opened a dedicated research and education building on the main campus, which is home to our grant-funded scientist and biorepository, the Center for Medical Simulation and Innovative Education, and the Office of Medical Education, which includes a lounge and collaborative classroom spaces for trainees. World-renowned neurosurgeon George Jallo is our Vice Dean and Physician-in-Chief. We have a unique educational program here at Johns Hopkins All Children's. Our trainees, aside from doing their clinical uh, responsibilities, have the opportunity to learn about clinical research as well as basic science research. There's an emphasis on the whole person and their opportunity to learn rather than just providing basic care to the children. What attracted me to this program was the opportunity to work with uh, world-renowned professionals in the field of pediatric neuro-oncology such as Dr. Jallo and Dr. Stacy Stapleton. Dr. Stacy Stapleton is director of the Pediatric Neuro-Oncology Fellowship Program and Division Chief of Oncology at Johns Hopkins All Children's. She and Dr. Jallo have collaborated to build the Neuro-Oncology Program. Dr. Jallo is the Institute Director for the Institute of Brain Protection Sciences and he has really a national and international reputation. And this is great for our neuro-oncology fellow because he brings in patients from around the country and around the world that the fellow is then able to interact with. And so they have even a wider experience of different cases. Tuesday is a key day in the week of our neuro-oncology fellows. The day includes the multidisciplinary tumor board and continues with time dedicated to allowing the fellow to see his or her neuro-oncology patients each week, even while on other rotations. We have our neuro-oncology tumor board every Tuesday morning at 7.30, and we have, it's multidisciplinary, so we have the neuro-oncology, neuropathology, neuroradiology, neurosurgery, neurology, and any other guests that might be needed to help uh, make the decisions on the patient cases. Typically, there's about five to 12 cases a week, and it really is a working conference. We, we make decisions on the patients that affect their care. It's a great experience for the Neuro-Oncology Fellow because they really get to hear from all the disciplines about their aspect on how they would approach the patient care, whether it's from neurosurgery or radiation. And in addition, then the Neuro-Oncology Fellow is able to help run that tumor board later in the year, um, which is a great experience for them. It lets you mold your training Molding the program means you work hand in hand with your program directors and organizers so that you can get 100% what you want out of the experience. We have an opportunity weekly for our Neuro-Oncology Fellow to interact with the uh, adult tumor board at Moffitt so they gain that experience and then also a chance to rotate over there so that if they choose to sit for the boards then hopefully that experience will, will help them and be to their benefit. Our graduate medical education programs are strengthened by the addition of individuals with diverse backgrounds, life experiences, and talents, united by a commitment to excellence. Training in pediatrics has given me the chance to be more compassionate, where, as you can imagine, 
these diagnoses are scary and the families are already hanging by a thread. And with the compassion that you get from a training in pediatrics, you can do so much for these families and just walk with them hand in hand through the process. We want somebody who is obviously qualified, but even more so passionate about neuro-oncology. I really want to hear about why you are drawn to that specialty, because it is a real, real dedication to go into that as your career. Working as a neuro-oncologist can certainly have its challenges, and some days can be, can be difficult, but there are many, many, many rewards, and frequently I get to give good news to patients and tell them that they're cured and they're done with therapy. If you want a challenging and collegial experience that offers strong interaction with faculty, applying for a Johns Hopkins All Children's Neuro-Oncology Fellowship is the right choice for you. I love this place so much. The camaraderie that I have with my colleagues and the knowledge that I have gained throughout the year moved me towards seeking a position here and thankfully here I am.